Hey guys, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about, I mean, very tiny bit about running solar, or running aquaponics solarly. Now, I'm not gonna try it myself, not yet anyways, um, but I know someone here on Facebook, or Facebook, uh, YouTube, that's actually trying it out with a chop and flip. He just posted a new video, and I'm gonna take a little clip of uh, part of his video on what he said, or what he's he's experimenting on. There's a couple things I really like about him, and um, I want to talk about it. And I basically want to promote his channel as well. So let's get to the questions and comments, basically. Just real quick, though, this is my system. So that's my sump. That's my fish tank, and I got all my fishies down in here. I got goldfish, and they're bigger, so they're not close to the top, though. So basically, all of this and all my grow beds the two back there and my Dutch buckets and my zip row towers they're all run from one pump that's in the sump all right so if I could figure out how to run this thing solarly that would be great but um, I just wanted to show you guys my system real quick okay these are aquatic plants that I grow for extra dough my jalapeno plant doing really well okay just took off uh, my cilantro too hot went to seed but also doing really well okay I'm gonna leave it for seed oh and look at this we got a flood here and that plant is not looking happy so I'll fix that though okay and then we got our sweet potato gonna have another video coming out on how I'm doing all this okay then if we come over here we got my zip grow towers which i don't have going e either i've been focusing more on my um pepper plants here so got tons of peppers and stuff like that look at that big old dog right there so anyways let's get to the comments and the questions all right so in my opinion the first thing we need to do is we need to watch the clip um, I did want to say that um, I want to have a lot of this discussion discussion on his video so check that card um, and make sure you guys go over there and post a lot of your comments there if you have any comments for me obviously you can give them here as well but I want to focus more on his uh, on his channel um, and the reason why I want to do that is because at the end of some of his videos he actually um, gives shots out to people um, that may or may not have more subscribers than he does so obviously he doesn't care um, which is great um, because it shows me the dude has integrity okay and so I want to share in that I want to make sure that uh, I'm actually pointing people to people that are up and coming and I think um, he's got great camera work <laughs> just like me but um, he's thinking He's thinking about what he's doing. He's thinking of how to uh, do things solarly, and he's thinking about things. And to me, that's freaking cool, man. That's the kind of stuff that I like. I like thinking about what I'm doing. I like thinking about um, how the microbes work in uh, systems, AP systems, and, and, and just everything. Um, I don't know where he at, is at with God, but to me, those things basically speak of the Lord. Um, and how he cares for us because it says in the Bible he cares more for us than he does the birds of the air and so um, I've seen how soil works I've seen how aquaponics systems works and how bacteria works and there's a lot of benefit to it um, and so I see that God cares about the soil and how it all works and it all benefits us really honestly and and the earth so anyways so go over there, check out his channel, and let's get to the questions and comments that I have. Not necessarily in that order, but let's go ahead and talk about it, all right? So I did get the uh, solar panel installed and the solar pump uh, mocked up. And this is just a, an example of what uh, it's gonna look like. Obviously, I'm gonna raise this up a couple more inches. And uh, yeah. We got the solar panel over here in a five gallon bucket just for now. I'm gonna end up putting it up here maybe because uh, when the sun comes, it's gonna be like this, tracking across the sky. So I want it facing up, something like that. 
I don't know if that uh, description made anybody sick or <laughs> if it even showed what I wanted it to. Wasn't that a great clip? I mean, it was short. It didn't make me sick, Todd. So, <laughs> um, I did, I'm gonna use my son's iPad here because I had to send him my notes. Uh, number one, dude, uh, great idea. I really liked it. Uh, really interesting. Um, I love experimentation. That's one of the things that I really like. Um, so on my channel, I do a lot of experimentation and sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it works, but um, that's the part that's fun for me is actually the experimentation, especially when the experiments work. Um, it's fun thinking, isn't it? I, I think so. Um, I have a few things to say and a few things that I just need to talk about or I just need to ask you as well. Uh, number one, great camera work, dude. <laughs> you're like me, I'm sure you're doing the best you can and you, you get to a point really where you just don't care, you know, I mean, people can watch your content and you'll improve over time, obviously, I haven't, <laughs> but uh, you probably will. Um, Okay, if you guys want to see the solar power uh, chop and flip, subscribe to Todd's channel. I think it's up here or over here. Um, like I said, I'm doing this because I want to promote his channel and then also get us talking about this topic of solar chop and flip. Um, so make sure you guys check out his channel and subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you guys get his video updates. He's got good content and I really like it. Um, so one of the things that I had question about Todd, Todd was um, how many times, um, I think it's recommended that uh, on average fish tanks need to be um, turned over so the water volume and the total water volume inside the, the fish tank needs to be turned over four times an hour. That's the average, I think. Um, so. I'm not sure if, um, with aquaponic systems though, I know life always finds a way, um, but I'm wondering if that's gonna be good for your fish and then how many fish it, it matters also. And then we, we overly, um, with these flood and drain systems, we overly um, filter the water. So I don't know if that's gonna really affect you. I know that it's, it is important to turn over that water as much as possible. And I think some of it has to do with oxygen in the water. But when you got flood and drain systems, you're basically draining all that water and it's basically hitting the water and causing a lot of um, agitation to the water, which is good because it, it puts a lot of oxygen in the water. So that's number one, basically on the question side of it is how many times is this pump gonna turn over your water um, we're still gonna go through with the experiment, I hope, on your end, because um, I wanna watch and see what happens, but um, I'm wondering how many times it's gonna turn over the water, and will it affect your, um, your overall fish and, and the growth of your plants? Um, I think the plants will be okay, but I'm not sure about the fish, but it's a cool experiment, okay? Uh, and then the other question I had, so far this is all I got, man. Um, at night, I'm assuming that the pump is going to be off obviously because there's no sunshine unless you have a backup battery um, do you have like batteries that you're gonna charge up and then run at the night I, I'm, not, I'm not thinking so with that small solar panel um, and then will the plants be okay uh, with the amount of water especially you being in like the desert area will they the plants be uh, okay overnight with the amount of water that's actually in the grow bed um, was there an idea because I, I was thinking maybe you could actually turn let, let the grow bed fill up almost to full and then turn off the pump uh, at night um, that way you have water still in the inside the actual grow bed so I think your plants will be okay for the most part um, but I don't know how that's gonna affect them um, with it being off all night long like that um, and then also let's see I think the plants will be fine, water in the bed. Okay, the other question was, is uh, do you think the fish will be okay? Um, so I, I went through the thought process of this a little bit and I thought, okay, well, if it's a flood and drain system, so it's gonna go, ox it's gonna put oxygen in the water. I always try to say oxygenate, <laughs> you know what I mean. Will being off overnight be okay with the fish not having enough oxygen in the water? Um, you could set up a basically uh, an air pump for overnight 
um, but then it would defeat the purpose of using total solar. Um, but you're not being anal about it. So uh, those are the, the questions that I have basically about your system, the chop and flip. So I wanna keep this short. If you guys, if you can post in the comment section below, bro, uh, let me know, or um, we can all go over to his uh, channel and check it out and uh, check out the full video over there and see, you know, basically what uh, what he's trying. But basically, he's trying to do a chop and flip solar system, solar system. So, uh, and I think it's really cool. So I'm really. I'm really anxious to see how this is going to go, dude. So anyway, like always, you guys, God bless you. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it around with your friends. Talk about it below. I want to talk about these things. So anyway, God bless you guys. And like always, peace.